Ah, PlayStation Vita news returning. Sometimes it hits you right in the feels. Stop being creepy. Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, well you know what to do, don't forget to subscribe. Okay everyone, it seems that PlayStation Vita official news has officially returned. And you know it's a big deal because I said officially twice. We are going to be covering everything that has happened recently for the PlayStation Vita thus far for uh, uh, July 2020 or something like that. It's, it's the month, so close enough. There's been a lot of doings of transpiring, and we're going to be talking about all of them. Some of which is very big news, while others are very big sad news, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And let me know which part of the video interested you the most. Which tidbits of news caught your attention? Let me know down in the comments section. Let us begin now with probably what's been talked about the most on the PlayStation Vita community, and that is Limited Run Games has finally, at long last, announced that Papers, Please, the physical release for the game, will be launching officially, ha, there's that word again, on July 24th, 2020. And this was a major plot twist for me personally because I was expecting Papers, Please to be Limited Run Games' final release for the PlayStation Vita, not counting the bonus game that they're going to be giving to collectors who have a full Limited Run game set. What are you doing, Doug and Josh? What are you doing? And for those who don't know, Papers, Please is a game about immigration, and I've heard it actually is a pretty solid title and very unique on the platform. I mean, the name alone can pretty much express that fact. Unsure at the moment as to how many copies this is going to be limited to, but we can all assume that it's not going to be enough, and thus many people are going to be left out. So get excited! Because if you were like me and couldn't wait for the physical release of this game, it is thus drawing nigh. But, since I said that I was expecting this game to be the final game, what about the other title we're all anticipating? That being Super Meat Boy. Yeah. What about that one, Limited Run Games? I think most people at this point probably know about the situation regarding this game, but just in case you haven't, they announced a little while back that Super Meat Boy for the PlayStation Vita physical release will not be releasing on their website until Super Meat Boy Forever is completed. And since that game is still in development, well, I would say we probably still have a little ways to go before that game drops. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was late 2020 or sometime in 2021. Can we cue the prices right, OST? <laughs> ah, that makes the waiting feel all the more better. Oh, and if you wanted to know what Super Meat Boy was about, it's a game about dying. Like, a lot. Well, okay, it's a platformer, but it's a tough-as-nails platformer where you're going to die a lot. So whenever you think about this game, and you do get it physically or digitally, whichever you prefer, just remember the word die, because that's what's going to be happening quite often in this title. Oh, man, the waiting for these final last two Vita games is just killing me. Now I know how Super Meat Boy feels. Now I got some news for you guys over there in Europe. I literally was pointing at my window when I said that, assuming that you guys were like right next door to me or something. Starting off with the release of Root Double, Before Crime After Days, Extended Edition. And if you thought that was a super long title, well, it is. And I know many of you out there have been eagerly anticipating this one. We got it here in the States back a few years ago, and I know that you guys over in Europe have been saying, Hey, where's our release? Well, your demands have been heard, because the game is out right now officially on the PlayStation Vita store. The year is 2030, business as usual in the isolated research city of Rokume. That is, until several explosions suddenly go off in a nuclear research facility known as Labo. Uh, I think I already made that joke a while back, so I'm not gonna do it again. The city sends in Sirius, an elite rescue squad, to deal with the situation, but the situation only gets worse when Labo nuclear reactors melts down, sending the facility into lockdown with members of Sirius and survivors still trapped inside, with lethal radiation leaking everywhere and not enough anti-radiation medication to last until lockdown lifts. Wait, anti-radiation medicine? Is that a real thing in real life? I, I just got curious. The survivors make more and more grim discoveries in their struggle for survival in a death trap full of fire and radiation. They learn that doubt is their greatest enemy and trust their greatest asset. And this is a sci-fi visual novel. And I gotta admit, it's a very good one. Well, that wasn't creepy.
Considering now that this is an official PlayStation Vita news topic, I guess we can expect a pogey game to be in here somewhere. Oh look, there's one! Who would have thought that? That's a major plot twist! Eh, we all saw that coming. <laughs> Come on guys, laugh with my ulcer. Okay, let's get this over with. Crack the code to reveal the quote in this classic cryptogram puzzle. Decrypt the ciphers to find 180 funny and inspirational messages. The game, which is cross by with the PlayStation 4 version, make sure you buy the PlayStation Vita version, is available right now in the North American store with the European release going up very soon, but there's a glitch in the store, so they're having troubles with it going live in Europe. Gee, who would have thought of that? A glitch in the PlayStation Vita store. <laughs> Never seen that before now, have we guys? May this game stay buried forever. Now, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Go ahead and release. It's fine. Well, if you thought Demon Slayer would make you question your sanity, here's another game that'll probably accomplish that very same thing. Because if Papers, Please is a game that is right up your alley, we have a game that looks to be kind of similar to it. It's called Need a Packet? Oh, I'm gonna need way more than that after playing this game. And here's what this uh, alleged game is all about. Beep, beep, beep. Register products. Take cash. Go insane. <laughs> well, we've already done that. Need a Packet is a horror simulator about supermarket cashiers. Or in this case, a cashier who is gradually losing her mind from routine work. Well, I'm compelled already. She starts to feel that the cash register is turning into a medieval tower. Y y yes, y you guys heard that description correctly. This game is a survival horror game about a cashier who thinks her register is turning into a medieval tower. That's a thing. And this game is going to be launching on the PlayStation Vita on July 24th, 2020. I just noticed something. The same day that Papers, Please goes up on Limited Run Games' website. Can that be a coincidence? Hmm. Oh, and just for giggles here, this is the actual artwork for the game. I mean, I gotta admit, it looks survival horror to me. Can't wait to try this one out. At the very least, I can say, hey, it's unique. Now for the sad part of the video. Rodaleka Games has officially stated that they will be moving on from the PlayStation Vita in the foreseeable future. And I can't really say that this is all too surprising. Being with the whole COVID virus going on, Q&A shut down for so long, and now Peggy upping their prices, even though they did backtrack a little bit on that, them still charging around double the price, probably just makes it not worth it for them in the long run. And this is a big blow to our community because Rodaleka Games was by far the most frequent and constant publisher for the PlayStation Vita, pumping out games pretty much on a monthly to weekly basis. And to you, Rodalika Games, I say, thank you for everything you did for the Vita community. Godspeed, good friend. Godspeed. And that concludes all of the big PlayStation Vita news that happened as of recent. A lot of good things coming to our handheld, and with the case of Rodalika Games, not so good. This is certainly a video that had both its highs and its lows, but I ain't gonna let it get to me, because the closing of one chapter is the opening up to a new. But we just gotta take them in stride, and keep on supporting the PlayStation Vita. So tell me everyone, what interested you the most in this video? Tell me down in the comment section below. And as always fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Marco Bellotti, Neo Arashi, Reiko Star, Matt Fox, B Mystery, Gutter Drums, Phantom XRS, BMF, Hero Acer, Hemdal Imbert, Saul Ramirez, Ruben Gutierrez, Adam Sondi, Kyle Brooks, Joshua Williams, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., J.R., Jared Hado, Richard Cruz, E-Rock, Kevin Enright, Buzz Sayin, Pierce Sterner, Heston Joseph, Jelle, Wendy K, Adam Theory, Aaron Swanson, Mario Cruz, David Ray, Sculpture Tugel TCG, Rodrigo Vera, Larry Anderson, Eric DeWitt, Redoron Alloy, Silica, and Burzen Mystery. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that's cool too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do so down there. Oh crap, I forgot to say task. I forgot to say task.